Okay, folks, so you will have to excuse me. I'm a little bit stuffy right now. For some apparent reason, I cannot seem to not be sick at all this year. For some apparent reason, I get it every month, and it's actually quite aggravating just because I'm like, I just took a trip, and someone probably was coughing on the plane before me, and that's probably what uh, got me ill again for the fourth time this year. I also work in a hospital, so that's not necessarily something that you know, I can attribute to my job, but still, it's like, when you sneeze, please don't sneeze on other people. So, we're going to do an update here on the Elantra. Um, I did get the strut replaced along with the mount and the rubber insulators, and I have to say, it worked. And I was thinking it wouldn't work because some people have said the strut mount is the problem, and there's other people that have said the motor mount is the problem. With a car this new, I wouldn't expect the motor mounts to be a problem quite yet, considering the fact that I barely bring this car up to Redline, if ever. <coughs> but basically, um, I had them replace the whole strut assembly on the left side, and it seemed to have fixed the problem. I did have one little noise when I made a right turn, and I have, I'm going to attribute it to the break-in process of the new part, but since then, I have not had any noise while making a right turn, so I think it might have, I think it helped. You'll have to excuse me, like I said, I'm not feeling too great, but I wanted to give you guys an update on what was going on. So without further ado, uh, it looks like the Elantra is finally fixed, but who knows when the next TSB problem is gonna come up again on this car. Um, like I said, I've, for some apparent reason, I think this car is like the model for TSBs, just because I've had the TSB for the air conditioning and heating unit, and I've also had the TSB now for the front strut mount noise going over right-hand turns. So, giving you guys an update, if I, it did work. So, replacing the front strut, as long as the mount is replaced, you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. And if you do have an issue, if it sounds a little different than maybe what I was describing, then you may want to look into your motor mount on the transmission side, because Ultimately, your gearbox does not sit underneath the car. It sits on the left-hand side of the vehicle. So with that, folks, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. But I wanted to give you guys an update on what was going on. And it looks as if the Camry will be shipped soon. So hopefully, we'll be able to get a drive of it going to California. But um, we're just waiting for the new title to come in. So that's going to take probably about another four weeks. So my poor sister is going to have to stick with her debut for a while. She really hates it. She's like, I really hate this vehicle. I'm just waiting for my car to get there. And I'm like, yeah, I get ya, but you know, at least you have one. I really wish she would have shipped her BMW here because I would have had so much fun driving that. I love the little five-speed BMWs. So with that, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go, and we'll go from there. So front strut mount, along with the strut and the rubber insulators, ultimately fixed my problem, and uh, hopefully we won't have any others for a while. Have a good one.